What's going on guys? My name is Marcel. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street. I know a lot of you are graduating high school soon. So let's talk about graduating that teenage style and maturing it a little bit. I want to walk you through 16 things that you guys can do that you can shop for or start doing right now to make you look a little bit more mature, make you look like you're ready for that adult life. Now, what makes me the authority on that? Well, I went through my own style experiential phase. If you haven't seen my video yet, check out the before and after of what I used to dress like. And I still do some of the things that I'm gonna tell you guys not to do today because it's a choice. But when it comes to presenting yourself in an adult, grown-up manner, I think these 16 things are gonna help you guys out a whole lot. So let's begin. I wanna to talk to you guys about accessories first. And the very first thing that popped to mind when I thought about this video is getting a watch. It does not have to be an expensive watch. Um, it just shouldn't be like a G-Shock. I, I, I just think there's something mature about having an analog watch that is to your liking. Second thing, stop wearing new eras. I like new eras, I do. I have one, I have many actually, but I wear them to sporting events, I wear them when I go out dancing. There's a time and place for it on your everyday life and professional settings, these are a no-go. Number three, let's talk about footwear. An easy way to upgrade your sneaker game is go for a clean white silhouette. It's still a sneaker, they're still comfortable, they're still gonna work with what you have in your wardrobe and that's something that's really important about today's video. I'm gonna try and show you things that you can easily integrate with all the pieces that you already have in your closet and just make these few tweaks to transition it into a more mature wardrobe. So white sneakers, easy way to go. These are from my brand, Ankari Flores. If you guys can swing it, $165, handmade in Italy, fine leather quality. Check them out or take a look at the rest of the website where you'll also find a pair of Chelsea boots. I think Chelsea boots are one of the best shoes for transitioning a style because these work with ripped jeans, skinny jeans, they work with chinos, they work with a suit. They're so versatile and they have that mature feeling. These are priced at $2.95, a little bit higher than the sneakers, but same thing, handcrafted, finest leathers, so they really are worth it. But since you guys are my ODS squad, you are graduating and this is my little graduation gift to you. For the next two weeks, you can get these shoes off 15%. All you gotta do is put ODS15 at the checkout and that is gonna hopefully help you guys out a little bit. So if you've been eyeing AFs for a while, now is your chance to get them. Last thing I wanna point out with accessories, tip number five is stop wearing backpacks. I'm gonna contradict myself right now. A backpack like this is still completely fine. A leather backpack, high quality, that's sleek and slick. I'm talking about your average sport like backpack, your, your East packs, your uh, Jan Sports, they're, they're school bags. And I used to have them and they're great, but I feel like if you're trying to mature your style, that's the first thing to do. Or just go for something like a duffel bag. I personally like large bags because I have my camera with me. I like having my gym stuff on me, so I like wearing these. Some guys like messenger bags. I'm personally not gonna recommend them to you because I don't really like the way they look, but just make sure that you upgrade your back game. Now let's talk about tops and for that I wanna hop inside the closet. There's a couple things I think you guys should do and a couple things you guys should stop doing. One thing you should stop doing is wear logo tees. One more time, I do have some logo tees in my closet but the majority of my tops do not have logos. They are very simplistic and minimalistic. Something else I would love for you guys to do is start wearing button downs. Now, you don't have to go straight to the tuxedo shirt. That's like what, where you're gonna wear it, right? But you can go for something a lot more casual, something like a flannel. It's still looking more put together than a, a, just a simple t-shirt. Or you can go for an Oxford shirt or a denim shirt, all of which are casual and can work with what you have in your wardrobe without being too dressy, yet still more dressy than what you've been doing. Down here we have blazers and suits, and I'm not saying jump straight into a suit because you might not have a lot of occasions to be wearing a suit too, but you can be wearing a blazer, and if you wear a blazer, go for something unconstructed, something casual, something like this from Mango Man is um, super casual as you can see the fabric itself or this blazer from Massimo Dutti that I've shown you in a lot of videos, completely unstructured, raw hem, kind of stretchy. So it's almost like a jersey fabric, easily worn on top of a, a t-shirt or with jeans. So that's what you want to be looking for. The last thing I would recommend to you guys is getting a raw denim jacket. A denim jacket, as you guys know, is something that's very youthful, very casual, but the raw denim fabric makes it a little bit more classy, allows you to wear it with a button down with a flannel shirt and also with the bottoms that I'm gonna to recommend to you right now. So when it comes to bottoms, there's two big notes and there are two big don'ts. One, stop wearing sweatpants. And two, stop wearing ripped jeans because both of them are very, very youthful. Now, you guys know I wear a lot of ripped jeans. There is a way to pull them off in a more mature way, but if you wanna be on the safe side, just wear regular jeans or this is an extra tip, wear raw denim jeans. 
Just like with the raw denim jacket, the raw denim, the fabric is so slick and so elegant, it will make the whole jean look a lot more put together. Last but not least, and this might be obvious to you guys, but getting a pair of chinos is an easy way to mature your bottoms game. That sounds a little weird, doesn't it? <laughs> Stretchy chinos in, in a tan color or a navy color and a black color that are still slim fit, you can oftentimes not even tell their chinos, they just look like their jeans or colored jeans and that's exactly what you want. Something that blends in with your style but still allows you to wear it more dapper, a little bit more mature. Some of my favorite chinos are from Uniqlo or a little bit pricier but Club Monaco, really nice slim fits, youthful fits that I think you guys can rock at the age you're at right now. For the last few tips, let's hop into the bathroom because I think a very, very big thing for me was starting to wear cologne more frequently and more deliberately. So not just wearing any cologne or using my deodorant as body spray to, to, to create my scent, but finding a scent that really works for you and your natural scent. Point number 15 is getting a new haircut. Now, I'm not an expert in the grooming scene, I re really am not, but just no blonde streaks, no colorful hair, just something that's nice and sleek, something that, that says, hey, I'm a grown up. <laughs> And very last but not least, and I'm not one to talk about that for sure, when I was graduating high school I did not have a beard, but a lot of you might start growing a beard now and it might become a thing for you. So starting to maintain that, to care about the way your facial hair looks. So this is point number 16 and it's definitely something that's going to set you apart from the rest of the guys who aren't thinking that far ahead just yet. And that's today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did shooting it. I actually was sitting down thinking about how this would help you out if I missed out on something. Make sure to let everybody know down below in the comment section. I'll check out what you guys are saying. I would love to read all of your comments. So thank you guys so, so much for watching today. I'll see you very soon with the next video. Until then, get dapper and then stay dapper. Bye guys.